Hey guys, I'm Simitos Ken. Welcome back to the Stanley Parable. In the last episode, I went down the exit and I, I let myself get smashed. And so I just went back to the, the boss's office, did anything right, and I put in the code before the narrator had time to tell it to me. And now he <laughs> he's playing me music so I can cool down because that kind of anxiety is unhealth, unhealthy, is what he said. So here we go. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Oh, yeah. This game. <laughs> it always cracks me up. All right, let's go down here. And let's... Uh, is there anything else to do down the escape path? I don't think so. I guess we can go down it and turn around and come back. I don't think that's anything. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. You actually said more coming down last time when I did some other stuff. Although this passageway had the word escape written well, on it, course, the truth Stanley was better that off at the end of this hall, he Stanley had would meet too his much to live death. for. <laughs> Moved too fast, so I had too much to live for. Mind Control Facility. And I push the big light button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. It's probably going to tell me to how I should make my own choices now after doing this. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Hmm. So, where am I sp supposed to go? Am I supposed to go out? Power I can turn it on, I guess. It's up top. There are some different things I can do here, or there were in the older one. If I can go up, and I can. Yes, okay. What's that do? Four. What did that do? Maybe, oh, oh, there's probably more of those around the room or something. It's probably number four, yeah, one, and two. 
All right, well, let's go into the power facility then, I guess. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. All right. So, you can think about it, it's telling me everything I should do, so this is also mind control. So, okay, let's, let's do exactly what he says this time. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Is it gonna let me? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Yay! <laughs> I got the achievement. Beat the game. And now I think it starts over. Yup. I was happy. Well. Guess I need to go and do that ending. All of his co-workers will be gone. right back. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Surprise. Suddenly the game is like, hey, you've done this a few times. Whatever. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's, ah, surprise, it's always a surprise, every playthrough. All right, so now we got... Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. He seems bored, still. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Okay, what back. horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Is he reading it differently or is it the same? I think it's the same. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. So it is the same. Okay. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? 
Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. All right, here we go. Time to turn the power on. Oh, I wonder if I can just walk away. Not gonna say anything? No words? Really? Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. <laughs> ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. Oh, wow. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though, this version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh uh. dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. 
It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Yeah. Yep. But it seems to continue. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. That's kind of an old, that's like the original old ending. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Well, maybe it's just a randomized starting area. It looks the same. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling Starting a wave of disbelief, different. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Who, coming to a staircase, yeah, I guess Stanley it did, actually walked did start upstairs over. to his so, boss's office. I think we got everything. I think we've done it. Here's <laughs> the door. Just go. He <laughs> just opens it for me now. <laughs> anyway, I, I think we did everything. I think we got it all. I think that was the last ending. There was like a in the original one. There's like up on up on top. There's like there's like a ladder you could climb up and do stuff up at the top with like a machine. But I, that's what I was looking for while I was running around pushing the buttons. It was a ladder or anything? But I didn't see one. So I think we got it all. I think we did everything we could do in this game. I think we went the wrong way. We jumped off. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, we went back to the orange door, the three doors, and they all went to the same thing. And I'm pretty sure we've done it all. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the Stanley Parable. And I enjoyed it. It was fun. I hate that it's over. But it is. Sadly. Sadly, it's over. And... I guess I'm just going to play around with it for a little more myself, but I'm going to go ahead and stop recording here, and I hope to see you guys in the next whatever we do. So until then, stay toasty, my friends.